Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I'm gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. <laughs> I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. On The Breakfast Club. Now, Omarion was doing an interview with Sway. Shout out to Sway and the Smoke whole team. Sway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they were talking about the first time he met Tay Diggs. Now, you know, Tay Diggs is dating his uh, ex-wife. No, they're married. You can only pray that you that you get along with that significant other, too. You know, yeah. I think Tay is a cool guy, yeah. Tay Diggs. Yeah. Did y'all know each other prior to him and April? No, but um, I just met him for the first time, and he seems like a cool dude. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And he has kids of his own. So, you know, and he, he's he's an older man. So, you know, I, I only expect, you know, uh, good things from him. How did that meeting go? It was cool. We met at a... Uh, at my son's uh, class project, and he came through, and um, yeah, it was cool. Nice to meet you. It's all good. Yep, your kids are wonderful. You already know that exactly. You know what I mean? It's all good, man. Enjoy yourself. You know. So you say Tay Diggs and April Jones are married, Luna? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. But that, that makes sense because you know if I'm a, if I'm the father of your child, I only want to meet your new man if y'all are serious. Like are you that. serious? Yeah. Yeah. If y'all about to be married or have gotten married. Well, How you know they married, Luna? Yes. Ain't they? <laughs> Ain't they? I think they are. I, I just, <laughs> you just up here making up stuff? I mean, if I make that up, that only be for the benefit of them both. I'm not saying that. You yeah. Know. Yeah, but I think they got married, though. Okay. Because I've I seen them at the Grio Awards, and I believe I just read something about them. <laughs> What you laughing at that? Because <laughs> Byron <laughs> Allen's Grio Award. That was that was, fire. Uh, no, that was that's not what we that. laughing at. <laughs> we laughing at you just making up stuff. <laughs> making oh, up me? Stuff. Yes. yes. Well, I might have my statistics a little off. It's a little early for my brain. Oh. <laughs> I don't but know I think they're married, married though. You can so. Google that and find that out. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that wouldn't make sense, though. No, I, they, like, they, I, like I said, I only want... They're not married. Want, no, they're not married. So, because you said so? No, nah, they, they looked it up. They well, I only, want, I only oh. want to meet your significant okay. other if y'all married if y'all or y'all st- thinking about getting married. But I think they live with each other anyway. That's that's what I, I see them all with each other. You're going to be around my kids. You're going to be around my kids. I need to meet you. And hopefully that the first time we do meet to be like that. Like, it'll be respectful. Absolutely. Now, academics, he calls out Drake, Kendrick Lamar, and J. Cole for avoiding hip-hop outlets. Hey, let me just say this, man. Ain't nobody gonna say it, but I'm gonna say it. Yo, J. Cole and the rest of y'all, y'all big rappers, no wonder y'all get shit on by, the, by hip-hop outlets, man. And by the way, I'm good off a J. Cole interview. I'm good off all most of these big rappers. They they use the culture and they use all these blogs. Not saying you need to like, I don't care if they do an interview with me, but I know a lot of journalists in the game and they won't speak up because a lot of them, like, they really still hope to get an interview. I say f*** all these niggas. I just look at n- like J. Cole. When I see you doing some n- on ESPN, but you won't do an interview with a, with a n- the culture, mm. you won't hop on Million Dollars Worth of Game, you won't hop on Mother n- Drink Champs, you won't be with Joe Buck mm. or somebody like that. I look at it as some weird. N- mm-hmm. I, can, I, can, I feel that. I, yeah. ride with that. I ride with that. I understand that. But I will say this. Uh... Kendrick Lamar has done a lot of out. Well, he's done the Breakfast Club before. He's done Outlist before. J. Cole ago, has done Outlist ago. before. But usually, when 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 those artists take a turn and they get to the point where they don't necessarily need the outlets, they stop. Yeah, I don't think it's fair to put Kendrick in that because Kendrick don't do no interviews. And with nobody, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, with so nobody. I, I don't think it's fair right. to put Kendrick. in uh, that. I was going to say that too. But with 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 Cole and yeah, I, I can understand. As that. somebody who does lots of interviews, yes, I I know during the pandemic I did more off-brand mm-hmm. interviews, mm-hmm. you know, a more start, starter, you know, start up new podcasts and stuff like that. And I definitely have slowed down on some of those now that I'm able to access the bigger interviews now. But I definitely would never go and just do white press and never come back and do well, like drink champs or this. I agree with that. But I, I think what act, I think what act might be missing just a little bit is uh, we're in a new era. We're in an era where people control their own media. And so, that's the thing. So they can get on social media and they can say the things that they want to say. You know what I mean? Uh, you see J. Cole, right. J. Cole be pulling up in the projects, Correct. listening to people rap and or that's what I was rapping say. over other people's beats. They touch the culture in other ways. In other ways. They do it differently. Okay. You yeah. know, even Cole. Cole did Angie Martinez what, like four or five years ago? But he, he doesn't. think it was that long. But he yeah. does his own interview. And so does Kendrick. Kendrick can do his own thing. Yeah. Now, Drake is the person that I don't remember him ever doing many radio or, or interviews and things like but that. But he said besides he wouldn't, it was Apple. Remember, Drake tweeted that I'm not going to do a lot of interviews anymore. And the last big hip hop interview he did was with uh, Elliot and B Dot for Rap Radar. Which is fine. Correct. Yeah. I, I just think we live in a different era where people control their own media. They control their own artists. It's from from athletes to rappers. They'll just start a podcast or they'll get on their Instagram Correct. live. And that's like, fine. They don't have to go sit with nobody. But you know what? I think that that's um, 
cheesy way out because mm-hmm. you can do your own thing and still there's nothing like being interviewed by somebody else. Yeah, you avoid the tough questions. You yeah. avoid the tough I get questions. What you're saying, right? so. I get what you're saying. So I agree. I I, I agree with uh, about about fifty percent of what that what that said. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. Now, when we come back, we got front page news. Tesla, uh, Tesla and Figaro will be joining us. She'll be breaking down this Nashville shooting. So don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.